We completed Brass Hill, and now we're going to deal with the Bankrupt Trader. So this event here is that we will agree to deliver 150 Amber at the end of the settlement. So we have to have 150 Amber sitting in our warehouse without being used uh, to gain one villager at the start of every subsequent cycle, or just like at the start of each... What did I just say? At the, at the start of every settlement, this cycle. <laughs> um, we could raise the stakes here, uh, but I'm not confident I could do that. You have to win before year eight ends with 250 Amber in the bank. Just, that just seems like a really tough one. Um, because at least with this one, if you're not at 150 Amber yet, you could kind of delay. Uh, I know you have to deal with the impatience, but you could probably delay to get some more Amber. Now, something about this, which is interesting, it's a little bit of friction, is that generally the best way to get a lot of Amber would be to have trade routes going. But because we're at the start of the cycle, this is only our second settlement the cycle, we don't have other settlements to trade with. We have one other settlement, and then we have the city, and then I think we have one other um, faction. So that makes trade routes a little bit more difficult to do. But I think we'll still give it a go. We'll see what we get here. So we have lizards and foxes, or beavers, or just foxes. I am kind of thinking of going with the beavers, just for the easier wood. And I'm going to do that because if we're trying to do trade goods and stuff, we want to have as efficient production going on as possible. Beavers are going to be as efficient as you can get for cutting down trees. So prestige five, uh, villagers with low resolve, re leave faster. That's uh, that's fine. So we'll take the stone, of course, like always. We'll take the clay. I'm not going to worry about the wood because we do have the beavers. We'll take some fabric. And then I think we'll just want foodstuffs. Is that right? We could take clay, because clay can be useful for uh, glade events. That might be a good way to get things going quickly. Hmm. By clay, I mean coal. Okay, I'll, I'll take the food. Let's go. Also, the beers come with pies. Eyes are delicious. All right, so we have gathering knowledge. The marshlands are gatherer's paradise. Gathering speed is increased by 10% for every two workers assigned to gathering camps. Bonus does not affect the woodcutter's camp. Is this... I assumed that this was two gatherers in a particular camp. I don't know. We'll, we'll still work that way. The marshlands are home to enormous life forms. Giant resource nodes can be found in forbidden glades. Each glade will have a different one. So we want to aim for Forbidden Glaze, that's pretty cool. And then we have our Prestige stuff. Uh, wild Growth. Small, energizing drops cause uncontrollable growth in certain species. All resource nodes discovered during Drizzle Season have more charges. Plus 2 to small deposits and plus 10 to large deposits. That might come into play sometimes, but I'm definitely not going to try and work around it. Flooded Roads. As a result of heavy rainfall during the storm, the travel cost of trade routes increases by 2. Hmm. Okay. Anti-trade routes. Piercing Winds. Fuel consumption in hearths is increased by 200%. Okay, that's pretty rough. Cold snap. Um, so they have a chance to consume double food. And melancholy. Villagers with this effect have a minus two penalty to their resolve. If they do not have complex food and housing. Oof. That's tough. That's a very difficult one. Alright. Complex food is very important is what I got out of those. Let's try and fulfill those needs. So, uh, first things first, I like to build my path. And then I like to build a woodcutter's camp. Or three. I think we'll... Yeah, we'll just build three. No reason not to, really. Reduce the number of parts. No, it doesn't even cost parts. It costs wood, right? Oh, it does cost parts. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We'll be fine. We have nine beavers. We're going to put nine beavers into woodcutters. Um, how did that work out? We have ten beavers? We have ten beavers, sorry. One of them is in the hearth. We're going to replace that one in the hearth with a harpy, because the harpy's just the best to have in the hearth. Value added tax. Specializing in a particular branch of commerce can bring a lot of profit. Pack of trade goods are worth 25% more when sold through trade routes or directly to traders. 
How else do you sell them? Those are the only ways to sell things, right? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. Um, now that's actually pretty cool. So that certainly gives us a, a direction. We're just trying to get as much amber as we can, and this gives us more amber. Perfect. Lost in the wilds. Gain one villager every time you discover a new glade. Each newcomer group has two additional villagers, and your villagers learn how to travel the wilderness at the very from the very best. The royal stormwalkers. Um, all trade routes are faster by forty percent. I. That could be cool. I'm going to go with value added tax. We're aiming for packs of trade goods. How fun. I actually don't know what packs of trade goods um, are made from. So I think it's probably just the produced goods, right? So what are teas and um, training gears and things like that. So smithy for tools and pipes, planks, tools, luxury. Oh, I got to look down here. Two star for trade goods. Let's have a look at the recipe. So yeah, so it's these. Oh, not quite. Okay, so pigment water skins hmm flour oil pottery okay well we can go for these sorts of things um bricks and pottery planks tools oil three star oil now this requires six oil for one pack of trade goods um we how much can we make for oil that's not bad Two wheat becomes five oil. So if we get a three star pack of trade goods, we can turn like two wheat into one pack of trade goods. Holy cow. I didn't realize it was such a good conversion rate. Well, let's take the Druid's Hut as a start. And we're just going to make a lot of oil. And then that helps us with our fuel consumption during the storm because uh, we have increased fuel consumption as well. So a smelter, uh, skewers, resin, oh, Forester's Hut, so good. Do we want a forester's hut? Hmm. Man, it's amazing being able to make tools with those. Training gear is also good and copper bars. Actually, let's hold off on choosing this one because these are very situational, I think. Cookhouse is pretty good, though. We don't have any copper here. No. All right. Um, we're going to make a small trapper's camp. Not that we have anybody to man it at the moment. Uh, so pack, well, sell goods worth at least 20 ambers. Well, we're going to be doing that, so let's do it. And it will give us some oil that we can then turn into trade goods and sell more. And sell stuff and deliver amber. Let's go with the trading things. The game wants us to trade. <laughs> what is going on? All right. Trade things within 8 minutes and 30 seconds is a lot more challenging. We get artisan. Hmm. Not bad. We could use it. Packs of luxury goods lets us you know, gives us uh, more stuff. Oh my gosh. Production yields for all packs of goods. Oh no. So we have to take this one. <laughs> we have to take this one. Um, at least 16 amber to a trader or trade route. How? How are we going to do this in eight minutes? Uh, with great sacrifice. Let's try it. We, we want these rewards. Plus one of production yields for all packs of goods. Obviously we want that. Okay. So priority number one is build a trading post. Oh, but we have to have the goods to trade to them because if they show up and we don't actually have stuff to trade them, then we've wasted our time. Can we actually manufacture anything worthwhile? Hmm. We gotta think about this. We could start on the oil right away. How much is oil worth? I don't know. We can't make packs of trade goods yet. Hmm. How much oil do we have? Oh, it tells us the value in here, doesn't it? So we have zero oil? zero we trade a bunch of stuff then we'll like yeah so if we if we sell goods worth at least 20 amber then um then we'll get the 10 from this which will provide the 10 for this we'll get all three of them <laughs> immediately 
I don't know if that's actually a good thing to get them all immediately, because then we're not making efficient use of our reputation to lower impatience. Hmm. Okay. Sorry I'm taking so long on this. It's, uh... It's actually kind of a very interesting situation to be in. So that doesn't take any planks. Let's build a druid's hut. We're going to want it. And I'll just put it right here. Alright. Normally at this point I would be building houses. Or hopefully a workshop. But, uh... Yeah, this is a very interesting situation. We're going to put one harpy in. Get some eggs going. And we are going to remove incense and coats and just work on the oil for now. It is going to reuse up our food. But... Oh yeah, how much is it worth? 0.14. Oh! Meat is worth 0.18. So, two meat becomes five. So it's absolutely worth doing in terms of value. Oh. Let's get a couple of harpies in here. And still gather the eggs. Okay, hang on. What else did we have? Copper bars? Nope. Okay, so these don't help us. Let's have a look at what other buildings we can get. Um, first, I have to decide on this one. So copper bars versus forester's hut. And the choice here is like for in terms of making tools or other things that require metal. Copper bars and crystallized do. This one depends on us actually finding a source of copper, but if we did, then I would rather have this because it also provides us the training gear um, production. I think I'll take that and sort of just bank on finding copper. If nothing else, we can buy, buy copper from people. Uh, upgrade a trapper's camp. That's probably a good idea here. I think that's a good idea here. We've already found a bunch of eggs in our main spot, which means we're probably going to be finding more big... Um, Big meat resource nodes. Okay. Okay, okay. So next up is building the trading post. We have seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. I don't know how long it generally takes people to build things. Hmm. Let me move this down just a moment. And we'll put the trading post next to the heart. Now, again, I want to kind of wait until we've built up a good reserve of oil so we can sell it all. At 14, 14 each, it's going to take us 6 or 7 oil per gold. And we want to trade away 20 gold, 20 amber worth of stuff. Have they made any? Doesn't look like it. 42. Oof. Well, we can trade away pretty much everything we have to get it. Oh, we have wildfire essence. We can trade away six wildfire essence and get three quarters of the way there. Okay. This is actually perfectly fine. Let's build a trading post. I completely forgot about that. Wow, wildfire essence is great. It's so helpful. Um, Let's put a limit on the oil then. Because we don't want to use up all of our food. Let's, let's just go to like 30. That'll get us through any storms. Alright. Good stuff. As long as they build it. They aren't going to build it because I don't have anybody available to build it. There you go. Alright, I do need you to build it. Please. Five minutes. Okay, good job, good job. Next, the houses. Alright, let's complete this first. So, oh, still working on it. They're doing a good job. They're building that a lot faster than I would. Oh no! Four minutes away! Okay, we have to... Well, we'll use the impatience and we're gonna... That's not a problem. We're, we're gaining impatience, but then we are going to uh, lose it as soon as we complete the orders anyways. Yeah, it was four minutes away, so it would have been during the storm, which is after the storm, and then I don't know if we would have had time to actually complete yeah. the orders. So, settle it all. I kind of feel like we should hold on to a couple in case we want to build a hearth early, but we we can usually find two wildfire essence from uh, from a cache or from an order or something. That shouldn't be an issue. And then just uh, hmm, only twelve. 
So, but it doesn't require that we get 20 amber in value. It just requires that we'd sell 20 amber worth of goods. And this is 20, this is 15 right here. And then, um, yeah, however much. So, haulers can carry five more goods at once. Or upgrade a herbalist camp and a small farm. We can sell our wood. Uh, I'm just going to put 1.25. Math is hard, man. Okay. I'm just going to put 20 amber. And however much wood that would be. All of it. That's not going to work for us. I don't want to sell any of this stuff. Where's my oil? Okay. There you go. Okay, there we go. Trade. Yes. Now we check our orders. Aha! Um, well, we can complete this and we have the amber already. So deliver that. And then we're going to hold off on these two until we actually need to lower... Rip, lower. Oh yeah, wild presence right there. Until we actually need to lower our um, impatience. We do that later on. Excellent! So, we gained the artisan, which is good. We'll build that. Get some coats. Uh, we got some coats. And also, already, we have expert specialization. Incredible. Uh, new blueprint. Okay, so I, I, I'll, I'll stop pausing as much. <laughs> uh, market. Holy cow. Uh, market gives global carrying capacity by 10, which is just the most amazing thing ever. Um, our beavers would like luxury, and our harpies would like treatment. I think we're happy to see that and take it. I'm just going to double check though. Uh, luxury treatment, and then we don't know who our third species is, so who knows what they'll like, but uh, market does cover the two of them, and I love that market cards bonus. Greenhouses are awesome, but we gotta go with market. Yeah. Alright, alright. This is an amazing start. Maybe I should have gone for the one that was 8 years and 250 amber. Certainly feeling like we could get that. Uh, but first we need some houses. People want somewhere to sleep. And we don't have... <laughs> we don't have a crude workstation to even make the resources needed. Whoops. Okay. Shelters! Uh, yeah. Okay. I think... We can lose all of the woodcutters. They're going to build us some houses. And we'll get rid of pipes here, get rid of the using our stone. Limit of 20. I can find my keypad. There you go. Okay. Alright, we need you guys to build some stuff. Are we? Wait, no, we're not out of wood already, are we? Oh my gosh. We have 40 wood. Uh, I guess we need to put some beavers in. Well, nobody's getting upset, so... We're fine to do that. Flooded road. That's fine. Doesn't attack us. Right now. Oh, we're doing fine. Okay, we can gain some more people. So, three more people or two more people. I'll take the three and it's a lizard! Now, the lizards are not happy with either lux luxury or treatment, so we'll have to find some other service for them. Why are they so unhappy right now? One. And there's one of them, and he probably doesn't have a house. Lizard house. Let's build him specifically a house. Make him happier, hopefully. We can also just take the woodcutter out, I guess. Uh, there we go. They're getting my house. Good? Ah, zero. Alright. There we go. Make them all happy by reducing our hostility. Uh, not enough goods or no need for the oil. New cornerstone. Rich glades for... Yeah, that... Whatever. Uh, more charges on deposits is nice. And especially when we found it this early. That's pretty cool. So, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Overexploitation. This is a lot more charges on deposits, but you'll gain 50, 30 hostility upon picking this cornerstone. 
So plus 30 hostility, that is kind of mean. Um, is that that bad? How much do we actually want these extra charges on deposits? I guess one nice thing about that is it means we don't have to open many glades. So by taking this, we get 30 hostility immediately, but then we're getting less hostility over the course of the game because we're not opening as many glades to find resources. I think we'll take it. We haven't even opened anything yet. Um, just quickly before I do that, I am curious. So right now, this has 23 out of 23 charges. If we take this, does it apply to charge to resource nodes we already have? No, it does not. So when we open a new blade, then the stuff in there will have an additional 15 um, uh, charges on the small nodes, and the large nodes will actually have plus 45 or something ridiculous. So we'll pick some new things. Uh, another time objective to deliver amber and have a hearth upgraded to neighborhood level two. We can do that. We can certainly do that. Wow, this game is being very friendly. Oh, hearth level two. Yeah, 16 people, we're good, I think. Um, I may have messed up and thought that <laughs> hearth level two is what we were about to do there. So, Get a park down, good. It's nice that we have so much wood. That really makes things just so much easier. All right, get that done. And hearth level two, we have the 16 people, so we're good. Excellent. We'll build that and we'll be done that order. Whew. <gasps> we don't have the amber. Ah, if we complete this, we will. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. This game is too easy. Uh, clothier for three star coats. Do we? I think we already have a source of coat production. Artisan, yeah. So we have two stars. That's fine. Uh, skewers and jerky are pretty good. Pottery, three star jerky. Mm. I guess the jerky satisfies both the harpies and the lizards, whereas the skewers would only satisfy the lizards. So let's go with the three star jerky. Yeah. We'll build that immediately. Uh, we'll put it over here. Can you make jerky out of eggs? No. So we need some source of meat for insects. Hmm. Probably a good time to start opening a path to another blade. What else do we have? We have a so market. Artisan build that I guess. Put it right there. And for this we need cloth of course. We don't want to build barrels or luxury goods right now. We want trade goods. Put our lizard people in there even though they don't have the resources just yet. Should I build a place? Let's check uh, our next order. So beaver colony builds. Building specifically made for beavers. Yeah we got a eight Eight beaver houses. I don't think we can do that because we aren't going to be able to make that many planks. We would need 64 planks in eight minutes. Let's just double check how many planks we're at. Uh, zero. We are at zero planks. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, too bad. I would have liked to do that. Five clay per minute is quite a bit. Okay, it's sacrifice oil, sacrifice coal, sacrifice wood. We can do that. Um, uh, resin protection doesn't mean anything to me. Fuel consumption hearths is decreased by 25%, it's nice. And 20 copper bars is quite a few. Uh, supplier would get us flour, better plank production. Ooh, better plank production, I would like that. Amber and box of porridge. But I think we need to do this one. Complete three trade routes worth at least seven amber. We'll get there eventually. Profit margin. Cool. We need the source of packs of provisions as well for our trade routes. One minute away. He'll show up before the storm. And we're missing a house, actually. So let's get another shelter down. And I am thinking we need to get to another glade just to build a new hearth. We already have a lot of people, actually. We grew quite quickly. Did we have... We had something to do with forbidden... Oh, yeah, the forbidden glades. We've got uh, the marshlands, right? So Zorg is here. Do we have anything for you to supply? No, we don't. Do we have anything we want to buy from you? Mm, 
Not really, no. So thanks for showing up. But we'll actually buy some meat, actually. Hang on. Yeah, 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 we can buy some meat. So turn that into jerky, make our people happy, and hopefully our harpies won't leave this uh, this uh, storm. Yeah, let's do it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, consumption controls are very helpful in this situation. Turn that off. And insects as well. All right. Nobody's building this because we don't have the planks. How are we doing on wood? We have 121 wood. Not bad. Let's cut this down. All right. So something to deal with a forsaken crypt. Uh, what was once taken must now be given back. All stored amber and wine will be lost. Oh boy, that could be bad. But we won't let that happen. Empathy. Um, we don't have the resources for this. We do have the resources for this. And tearing it down, you get minus six global resolve for every ten amber in the settlement's warehouses. Good thing we just trade away our amber. Um, active only with the corresponding glade event. Yeah, so it doesn't matter because we don't have any amber right now. We'll tear it down. We'll get some good resources. Some okay resources. I'd rather calm the spirits, but we don't have those to, to do it, so it's okay. We'll send the harpies to do it. And there's also a large abandoned cache, which we do have the tools for. We had, or maybe we only have 22 tools. Close. But we'll just hold on to the, our resources here. Now, that's a lot of stone. Yo. Okay, we can make use of that. I need... Cutter's camp. Uh, lizard. Re oh, resolve is low. Let's take our woodcutters out. Okay, almost everybody's happy. What about that jerky you guys should be making, right? Eat the jerky, become happy. Can we do anything? I guess we could sacrifice goods. We could also favor them. Favor them. Beavers are dropping somewhat slowly. Now, I guess you might say, why am I delaying? Well, I'm delaying because I hope that hope one of these harpies is going to eat some jerky and then we'll be happy. Get 20 jerky. Yeah, there we go. See? Aha! I feel I could even accept some newcomers and be okay. That will probably put us over into two hostility, though. So maybe not. What are they coming with? Well, there's three of them. Yeah, we'll hold off. We can wait till it's drizzle. Um, but, uh, I'll be here. We'll take the beaver out when the drizzle season comes so we can cut down more trees with them. Hmm. They're working on this. I kind of feel like doing another one over here. Okay, good job, guys. We have some coal. Oh, we could go for the forbidden one. Mm. I'm going to move the woodcutters up this way. And uh, and we should accept some people here, of course. So we'll check the cornerstone first. Generous gifts because of this kind of thing. Newcomers bring more goods, but we're not going to take it. Maybe we will take it. Just looking at the rest here. Um... Leisure need fulfilled. Eh. Driving water. Firekeeper's armor. Not great. We do have two rerolls. Newcomers bring more goods with them. I think we'll take a reroll. Obsidian runestone. Okay, the ancient heart's resistance to corruption is increased by 400. Local taxes. Okay, so 12 amber for every 50 am ale produce. Uh. No, we're not going for ale. We're not going for, we're going for wine wine and tea and then either brawling or religion or both deep pockets 10 amber for every five completed traders i'm gonna just go for that we're it's not the greatest trade route um cornerstone but it is a trade route cornerstone so i'll take it okay camp love guy there newcomers we get some more beers 
Ooh, planks. I think I want the planks, actually. Take that. And new orders as well. So a timed order here is deliver three ancient tablets within a certain time limit. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. We're not doing that. 70 religion need fulfilled. Burn at least 18 blight rods. Yes, we will get there eventually. It gives us better coal production. Blight fighters move 25% quicker. Hmm. You know what? I think we'll do that. We'll get there eventually. And then also deliver 50 scrolls, deliver 50 ale, meh. Have at least 20 harmony decorations. We can certainly do that. And it gets us export specialization again. So good. Uh, we could have somebody working on coats. I didn't notice that earlier. What was I just thinking? Um, blight rot, right. So this is our third year, so we need a blight post. Glad that that reminded me of it. We get a path going down this way. And a path going up this way. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just build it around the trees, whatever. Okay. So we need a building that lets us make trade goods. Um, we'll put a limit here of 15. Also, not using these, please. Yeah, so we need to be able to make trade goods. Hopefully we can find something for that eventually. By eventually, I mean somewhat soon, because I'd like to get those trade routes going. Also, we need packs of provisions. That's the other thing. We can do that with the um, makeshift post. This will let us make packs of provisions. Not very efficiently, but it works. We also need a source of food, I guess. We have mushrooms over here. We can't actually harvest them. We do have a source of copper, which we bet on. So that was a, that bet turned out fine. We have a smelter. Get the smelter going, I guess. Oh, it didn't place it. Because I was trying to place it somewhere it couldn't be put. Light rods just have appeared. Yep, we are prepared for it. To Hilda! Hello! I have wildfire since I could sell you. I have no need to sell things to you right now, though, right? Oh, upgraded herbless camp. So we do have two star mushrooms up here. Yeah. Two star mushrooms. Which we can use. Okay, so an upgraded herbless camp might be a good idea. Yana. Um, I had something else that was going to give me wild parasites, right? Another order? Yeah, this one here. Two wild parasites from that, three wild parasites from that, so we can certainly sell ours. Hi. Yep, you can take that. Uh, we want 13 amber total for that herbless camp. And uh, what else can we sell? Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure I want to sell any of these. Yeah. Hmm. Does this guy, is it like holding on to the oil? What happened to the oil? They made oil earlier. It never showed up. 40. We have 40 oil right there. Okay. It did show up. So Hilda just doesn't want to buy it. Okay. Well, well, we'll survive without the Herbless Camp. I think we're actually going to open the Forbidden Glade here. Um, before we do that, I want to make some training gear. That's why we built this. And do I bother with biscuits? No, we're not on the start biscuits. We will use only wood for this. And you can use whichever you want. But we'll set a limit here of... 30. I don't think we ever need more than 30. Copper, there's no need for a limit on that. And lizards, because lizards are just good at most things. Okay. Service building. We do have one of those that we could build if we had the resources. Uh, wait a second. Is there a blueprint I'm missing? The supplier. I forgot to build a supplier. Where is the supplier? <laughs> uh, I 
Wait, hold on. Oh, we haven't completed this. Oh, I'm, I'm, jeez, I'm silly. Complete three traders, right? Okay. Uh, of course. All right. What's up, guys? You're out of resources for everything. Why are we not keeping up with food? Okay. So now everybody's unhappy. Let's empty out only some of the woodcutters. Okay. Good, so we can keep cutting down the trees because we definitely need the wood. Claude Munch Branch. Nice name. What are you known for? I actually want to cut down the trees over here. So we can go to mine. We'll get some coal and some copper. Puppy's resolve is low. What else is new? They'll get rid of that corruption and then they'll be okay, right? Yeah? Alright, alright. Oh. oh no, we lost a beaver. That's my bad. Um, I could have just burnt some coal or something. Do we have coal to burn? Oh, maybe I couldn't. Oh, yeah, there we go. 58 coal. Billy me. I could also just remove a woodcutter. <laughs> That'd be another solution. Alright, so we lost a woodcutter. Bummer. Hang on. Do we even need this? Yeah, we do. Oh, we'll let him go down. Do the seesaw thing again. Cornerstone, woodpecker technique. Uh, every time woodcutters cut down a tree during the storm, we gain insects. Eh, mist piercers is neat, but I don't feel. Well, I guess it's kind of cool. It tells us what's what's what, but it patience increases when we discover glades. I'm not going to take that. Without restrictions for double yields, and every three burnt blight rosses lowers hostility by minus ten while the hearth is corrupted. You're unable to sacrifice resources. So that's pretty cool. I'm not going to take it. Um, because I think we're going to need to burn resources a lot. Without restrictions, it's pretty good. Hmm. I think I'll take this one. Yeah. Just everyone has 10% higher chance of producing double yields. Uh, some coats, some cloth, some pipes. We'll take the, well, we'll take the more people, I think. There you go. And a new order. Complete trade routes. We really need to get going on that. And have two hearths upgraded to level two. Okay, forge production doesn't help us at all. But this is something we'll hit eventually, so let's take it. Now, uh, woodcutters, big priority. Okay, there we go. Now we've got nine woodcutters. Hopefully we can get some wood stockpiled. Yeah. Yeah. We need trade routes. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the mine. Mine. Put it right there. Go after it. Alright. There's a beaver in it, but we have no... Okay, we'll take one beaver out. Put him in here. You are gathering coal and copper for us. Actually, you know what? If we're gathering coal... Let's put more beavers in here. 
Yeah. And then just start using the coal in the in the hearth. Old Burloff is here. Um, I still don't have anything to sell you. I could sell you all of my oil. <laughs> Doesn't get a whole lot. Okay. So. Yeah. You know what? I don't have anything to trade you. Which is a sad state of affairs for me. I'd really like to be able to make trade goods. Man, that would be so nice. Let's open up this glade. Hopefully this doesn't go wrong. Do we have... Wait, has anybody been making, um, anger? Probably have. That's probably why we're so low on planks. Fishman outpost. Okay. So, <laughs> it's taunting us. It's saying, if we had the trade goods and if we had the amber, then we could bribe them. But, fortunately, we do have training gear and we have exactly the amount of training gear we need because I'm smarter than I look. Cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of 6 items per 10 seconds, which is a real bummer, but not the end of the world. We can put up with that, we'll get some amber, we'll get some reputation, and we won't have a chance of death whenever people eat. So, put a harpy in here, and a lizard, and then we can also get a scribe. Do we need a scribe? No. I guess education for the beavers could come in to play, but we're not going to worry about it. Giant? Proto-fungus. Man, do I ever wish that I had upgraded that herbalist's camp. With the trader there. Ah. Well, that's a lot of resources. Wow. 30 lumber? I think we need this. Uh, we will work on the training gear. <laughs> we'll spend a bunch of planks making training gear so we can get more planks. I think that makes sense. Trapper's camp needs to be moved, okay. That's fine, we got lots of spots for him. Man, I wish I'd gone to that herbalist camp. Too bad. Um, we just got a reputation. Was that not a building drooping? No, it was Forsaken Altar activation. Okay. So everybody's unhappy. We'll just take all the retainers out. Still not enough. Low on food. Oh no. Oh no! We have some food up here. That's not going to be enough. Trapper's camp. I guess we'll put a couple of lizards in there. They're good at that. Oh no! We have no way of making jerky here. I mean, I think this is telling us we just we have to open another blade, right? Yeah. They're working on this one still. Hmm. Oh, he's making copper bars, right? Oh no, there you go. He's making some tiny gear, that's good. Oh, because he can make the copper bars and make tiny gear. Right. Uh, builder left. Bad. The lizards are unhappy. As are the harpies. So I think we need to sacrifice some oil or something. We'll sacrifice some oil. There we go. That keeps them here. Uh oh. What just happened? Why did we gain reputation and hostility? Hmm. Oh, we gained hostility because the reputation lowered our queens and patients. <gasps> oh no! Uh, that is unfortunate timing. Okay, that saves it. We are burning through the coal. Hmm. 
So, cornerstone, small press, three oil for every ten flour produced. Um, well, we don't have any mushrooms, unfortunately, due to my own decision. Receive ten amber for every five completed trade routes. Still doesn't seem great, but I also... Oh, plant fiber might be important. Now, we'll take we'll take the pockets again. Still doesn't feel very good. Uh, amber here. And it comes with more people. By fair margin. New orders. So we could turn in some amber, get some people, wild presence, and so on. Let's check what our other orders. Uh, we have deliver 20 tools and 20 packs of building materials. That is doable. Gets us biscuit production and crop production. A forum for leisure and education, which is nice for the beavers. Oh, it just wants us to sell these things. Oh, well, we can do that. Sure. We don't have to d deliver it. We still get their value. Uh, a lot of things to do with trade routes, which is wonderful. That's exactly what we were hoping to do. New building. Let's check our building blueprint. Why is the harpy resolve low? Uh, supplier. Now, that's pretty cool, but we're going to get it from an order, and it tells us that there in the top right. Wonderful. Oil production we already have. Did I? Yeah, never mind. I was, I was gonna say, did I pass something up? Uh, clearance water to produce clay and reed, regardless of the season, must be placed on fertile soil. That's cool. I'm going to re-roll and hope that I find something to do with trade goods. I really want trade goods right now. I didn't get it. Uh, guild house. Guild house. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, plus one to global resolve every time you sell goods worth seventy-five amber even added retroactively. Not that we're close to that, but this is absolutely going to stack massively if we get things going. Traders arrived 50% quicker. Okay, we got to take the guildhouse. That is the choice for us for sure. Carpenter right there. Now we got to do this. Um, we are nowhere near having the resources for it though. And we need to put beavers into the woodcutter's camp again. Three. Please build those quickly and get us more wood so that the guys can. Why are we low? Are we low on food? Is it the lack of food? Are you guys hungry? Wish I could help. Trapper's camp. We'll build another one of those. This is not good. Oh no. Hunger! No! It's all my fault. Let's uh, let's cut down some trees and hopefully find some actual food in here. Uh, I think we have to let them go. Our impatience is going to rise drastically here. Hmm. Stone cutter, that's fine. Fire keeper left, that's not fine. Uh, take one out of the... Hang on, where are our harpies? We have one, two. That's it? Out of five harpies, we have two here? And that's it? Oh yeah, we have three builders. Okay. That's fine. Okay, can I... Like, here. Taking one woodcutter out will make him happy. We'll do that. Hmm. Wait. Why are your ingredients here? Ten oil. Get that out of there. New threat, blight rock color. Oh, hey, look at that. Thank you for telling me. So, use some fire. We can do that. Use these things, which we don't have. Or growth medium. So, one reputation, 20 amber, or some things we don't really need. Oh, we could use the food, I guess. Uh, for every 20 food produced, two Blight Rot sisters spawn in the settlement. That's fine. <laughs> We're not producing a lot of food as it is. Okay. Go ahead and work on that. Um, we can rebuild this thing. Yes! The game heard my prayers. 
Thank you. Everybody get through that real fast, please. Okay. That is amazing. That is so lucky. Oh, 20 crystallized dew. Hang on, hang on, hang on. With this... Is it worth it? Purging fire and crystallized dew to gain reputation and amber. I think it is worth it because we need the building blueprints. So how long would it take to do this? One minute? That's very fast. Okay. Cancel. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, go investigate that. And I'm going to real quick just turn off using those. Um Okay, we have we have the amber to buy these things. The tinctury alchemist something, spiced ale for leisure stuff. <laughs> and the herbless camp, how about that? Okay, that's fine, we're rebuilding one. Otherwise I would buy that. But uh yeah, I don't have any other stuff to go for here. Food would be good, but he doesn't have any. So that'll be fine. Thank you. So this thing takes five minutes. We have 11 minutes to go. They're gathering this stuff, right? As quickly as they can, I'm sure. A monastery. Religion. Um, We could rebuild this as well for packs of luxury goods. Don't we have that? Yeah, we have an artisan. Herbalist camp! Two stars! I'm going to move it way up here. The big thing. What's so special about this? Is it just a thousand charges? What the heck? Alright. Um, I'm more concerned about the actual food right now, so we won't take that right away, but holy cow, it can give you pickled goods as well. That's crazy. Wow. Well, let's get our food going. So, um, over here, this is going to be harpies, for sure. Other harpy come out of, are they doing anything inefficient? Medium abandoned cash. We could put somebody else in that. The lizards will be our foxes for this. And, herbalist camp. Please collect some food for us. Good, good, good. Now, these guys need to grab resources more quickly. I guess he can start delivering things. There we are. Oh, oh, he's still, they're still taking the eggs. Because his camp needs to be moved? Not a problem, we can move it. Put it up there. And this one will also need to be moved, I imagine. Now we have six homeless people, by the way. Alright, so that guy brought his stuff. This guy is not taking breaks, so we'll put him on here. The storm is coming. They are going to get this done in time. Right? Yeah. Good job, guys. Awesome. Okay, well, that was a really big find. Uh, even bigger would be if we could get a place that makes trade goods. We... Uh-oh. We're at three hostility. Hmm. Okay, how do we fix this? Melancholy is affecting us badly. Uh, I guess we just burn some wood. How are we doing wood? 52, not great. Uh-oh, still not enough. Uh-oh. Um, how are we doing on coal? Eight. Well. Alright. Uh, put another beaver in here. 
Don't worry about the copper ore for now, guys. We need that coal. Also, can we upgrade this? No. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, we ran out of coal to burn. Okay. 36 wood per minute. Okay, that didn't sell. Save us. Okay, we're in trouble. Why am I at three hostility? That just seems like a lot. I guess I could hover over this and it would tell me. So, small glades. Villagers. The number of villagers we have is the main contributing factor, as well as the years, of course. Hmm. Okay. Well. bring in more new newcomers. Uh, this is not good. Herbalist and Herbalist left. Those are two of our people that we need. Um, get it through, please. Firekeeper left. That's really not good. Where is a harpy that we can use for firekeeping? We only have two left. Well, I mean, at this point, like, we should just accept more harpies, right? Uh, no, we'll let these two disappear, I guess. We'll put a, a beaver in here so that our burned goods last longer. Alright, trapper left. Makes me sad. A druid left. Oh, well, now he's unhappy anymore. I, yeah, I can do this. All right, there we go. Problem solved. Trapper's camp has no deposits nearby. Move it up here. And builder left. Okay, fire is going out apparently. Do we not have any wood left? Uh oh, no wood. What are we doing? Well, we have oil. What am I saying? Yeah, we can burn oil. That's fine. All right, that's uh. Yikes, we are, impatience has gone up quite a bit. Work safety guide, we're not worrying about that right now. Increases the ancient hearth's resistance by 250 for every two woodcutters in your settlement. Well, that's quite interesting. So as long as you keep woodcutters in during the storm, you're not as affected by the uh, corruption. Okay. Ancient pact. Um, yeah, you can see the content of undiscovered glaze, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glaze kills a villager. And Farsight. So none of these are great for us. We're going to re-roll. Exploration Expedition is okay, except we're not really planning on opening many glades. Old Fedora Hat. Um, increases the chance of bringing back twice as much from glade events by 50%. That's pretty cool. Uh, the crown is very forgiving as long as the goods keep flowing. Impatience grows 30% slower for 180 seconds every time you finish a trade route. Let's take that. Okay. We need to finish a trade route. Holy cow, we haven't even done one. We... Uh, trade goods? Packs of trade goods. Packs of trade goods. One star. Two star on the packs of provisions. I think I'm actually going to take that. Because at least it's something that we would use. I really want the packs of trade goods. But one star just isn't good enough. So, manufactory. Let's start building our packs of provisions. We can trade other things. Just get trade routes going. We'll take some harpies here because... We do need the harpies for the jobs, even though they don't want to stay in the jobs. Uh, herbless camp, put a harpy in there. We have one lizard available to go in this trapper's camp. I actually don't know, so something I'm not sure about. When it talks about the bonus of for every two workers, you get 10%. Is that like, if I separate the two lizards, does that not give 10% bonus, or... Like, do they have to be two in the same workplace? I don't know. I'm not sure. Our uh, wood cutting, speaking of. Let's get some people helping down trees. We have a scribe here. Doesn't help us with a whole lot right now. Oh. 
There's uh, the orange around him. Oh, that's because I clicked on him. I see. Zorg. Hello. So, you have food. We don't need food right now, actually. Clay pit would be kind of cool. Plantation. I don't think we have anybody available to do farming. Mm, increases global food production speed by 20%. I think 30 September we can buy some goods. Well, we need to make packs of provisions. That's Stop one going. thing. So this would be a harpy job. <clears throat> Maybe harpies for everything. Take them out of the artisan role. Put them in the manufactory. And a lizard in there. And then also it's 14. I should put a limit on this. Say a limit of 20. Say a limit of 30. And don't bother the pigments. We do want the packs of provisions. Don't bother the training gear because someone else is on that. Just make us packs of provisions. Um, I don't know why I bothered moving them. It was happy in either <laughs> in either case. Uh, so berries. Yeah, we'll just buy a bunch of berries from Zorg. And maybe some pies to make people happy. That should be good. There you go. Maybe a biscuit or two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now we had a guild house to build. Need a lot more planks. Hmm. We're going to work on this. Back to revisions, and we'll say a limit at thirty. Additional blight rot cysts appear, and we, um, yeah, we really need to get some reputation going because our impatience is very high due to everybody abandoning us. We're doing okay on food now, though, so that's good. 88% corruption, not the end of the world. Monastery, we could build this and just put a hearth beside it. Rebuild this for the cost of 20 bricks. We don't have that. Maybe we should have bought some bricks. Some coal, some stone. You know what? We have the stone. Let's use it for bricks. There we go. Some mushrooms. Hmm. Oh, houses! Oh my! Yeah, I think houses might have been helpful at some point. Uh, I don't think we need fabric as much right now. So we'll do this and hopefully keep our harpies happy. They don't leave us. Okay, here we go. Traders. Exciting. Uh, I think we need some more packs of provisions though. 16! Hey, we have 16 already. That's pretty quick. Somebody, oh my gosh. Uh, hang on. Okay, there we go. We're just below three, that's perfect. Excellent. Um, but we are at two, so we don't want to start a trader right now. The travel cost of traders increased by two. So if I check this, yeah, there you go. It goes up to five instead of being three, I think. Five, three, three. I, I, I still don't fully understand how that works. That's okay. We're going to survive this storm. And we're going to start trading. That's going to get us reputation and all the other things that we want. Oh yeah, right. Expert specialization. Times two, right? Or just times one? That's why we made packs of provisions so quickly. Nice. Good job. Good job burning away the cysts. So impatience grows 30% slower for 180 seconds every time you finish a trade route. I'm not going to accept people, because I know that that will increase my hostility, and then everyone's going to be very upset. Um, we're also not going to send off a trade route, because the increased cost. 
Just waiting it out. Hopefully getting things done. Um, these said there's the pentax, right? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Cornerstone. Stormwalker training. All trade routes are faster by 40%. Um, I am thinking that's a good idea. Trade routes are faster by 40%. Just means they arrive more, you know, sooner. Um, which normally I wouldn't put a whole lot of stock into, but I think it's good. Also looking at the other options, they're not great. So newcomers, we can take seven people or take six people. Um, this one does come with reeds and plant fiber. I think we'll go with the, the roots and the plant fiber. Just more people. Seven houses, so it would be good to get some people homes. But yeah, okay, so that during the storm, it does actually add quite a bit to tax provision requirement. Uh, we could trade away a bunch of stone. 15 amber. I don't know if that's worth it. But it's kind of the only thing we can do. We, even, we just need to get trade routes going. Yeah, we have four people to trade with. That's good. Uh, roots. 16 roots for 10 amber doesn't seem too bad. Uh, we don't have any screws. So berries, we actually need those for packs of provisions. And they don't sell for a whole lot. So we'll wait on that. Now we do need wood, of course, so we'll move this over here. And I think we need to build a hearth. Small hearth. Oh, it's just... Ah. Uh, okay. Unfortunate. This artisan. We already have an artisan, so we'll take this down and gain some resources. Use some of that stone. Uh, wait, why am I using beavers? We'll investigate that, please. Get out of the way. And beavers need to cut down trees so we can continue to stay alive. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should put a lizard in there. Oh, we could use some clay. We could just move faster. Oh, there's hostility by 50 points. We need to do something about our impatience. Hmm. Well, I don't know how I feel about buying things right now. I kind of feel like we may as well buy things. The guild house is luxury. Maybe we buy some barrels? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna buy some clay. Oh, okay, nice. Comes out to exactly 10. Four. Buy some clay and over here, turn off your use of stone. Uh, we do have people available to work in stone, so get a harpy in the stone cutting there. Alright. Good job, guys. One of you is going to come up here and work with the eggs. And the reason for that is, um. Oh. Can't believe that. Oh, I thought, I, I thought the eggs gave uh, insects as well. As the mushrooms. That's okay. So another trade route is available to us. Bricks or berries, still not great. Uh, we need to lower our impatience. Let's do that with this. We get more people. And we're almost done tearing this down. There we go. Build us our hearth, please. There's a hearth, and we need a house. Lizard houses do cost bricks. Beaver houses cost planks, of course. We can't afford those. Hmm. Why are we low on wood all the time? Alright. 
do it like that. Six builders. I have a oh, Nine yeah. beavers cutting down wood. Cutting down trees. Why is Lizard Resolve low? What is going on? Because I've got nothing that makes him happy. We haven't found any meat. Hmm. Um, what can we do about that? Calling, religion. Wow, this is a challenge, man. Uh, when is the next trader getting here? Not anytime soon. Beaver jobs that or beaver lizard jobs that make them happy. Smokehouse. More lizard jobs that make them happy. I guess. I guess take them out of the artisan and put them in here. There you go. That makes them a lot happier. We'll put uh, an art, uh, harpy in the artisan. Okay. Well, that keeps us alive anyway. Oh, yeah, we can put out a harpy over here. I don't know if that actually increases carry capacity in the small hearth. I think it's only the large hearth that gives a bonus. I guess housing would help as well. Oh, we don't have wood, do we? We're waiting on wood. Uh... Okay, okay. So here comes the storm. And surviving it is going to be a challenge. We don't have wood. <laughs> Alright, everybody's unhappy. Reduce this down to three hostility, but we are going to need to burn some goods. Could build a park. One park would make us happier. Plus due to global resolve. Um everything costs wood, eh? Hmm. 42 wood. Oh we have wood. We don't have coal. We have oil. You know what we should be doing he is not burning coal, burning oil. And we can sacrifice the coal. Like so. And that'll get us uh, half a minute. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Idling. Are we out of coal? Oh no, we're out of coal. Uh oh. This might be the end. This could very well be it. Uh, we can send tools. Cost us a bunch in provisions, though. Whatever. Um, a new mine. We can, we can afford to build a new mine. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Ooh. All right. This was not successful. <laughs> uh, Firekeeper left. Dang. Okay, that was that went very, very, very poorly. Yikes. Alright, just in time. Thanks for reminding me that I died before year eight. Uh okay, well we still got 33 foodstuffs. And you know what that means? That means we can get that upgrade. Moldering City. Buy me an upgrade. So 
not that one. Hang on. This one. Every worker in your settlement gets a permanent plus one to their carry capacity. Hooray! That wouldn't have saved us last game, but I don't think anything would have saved us last game. I, I uh, yeah, didn't do so well there. Hmm. Well, I guess next, we may as well just go to the ominous presence. We get a royal resupply, which can get us some seal fragments. We will need them because uh, this takes a total of... We're, oh, jeez, 45 seal fragments. I couldn't see it there. 45 seal fragments is a lot. So, yeah, we need to earn some more. Royal resupply will help with that. We'll make our way there. All right. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs>